What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be taking a break from Escanor because trust me, I'm tired of covering him. Although, I have one more video to cover on him, that is going to be for another time. Oh, and by the way, this doesn't spoil anything in the manga, so you anime viewers are safe today. Now in the latest episode of 7 Deadly Sins, at the very end, we are shown King and Dian at the Fairy King Forest in the Hot Spring. Somehow, they were both in the hot spring fully naked and neither of them knew that the other person was there. So how did they both go to the same place at the same time without knowing anyone else was there? Well, in this video, I'm going to be explaining just that. Today, we are going to be talking about why King and Deanne are so drawn to each other. Now, I know what someone is already thinking. Oh, uh, well, dark skin, they like each other, duh. Funny enough, that wasn't always the case. In the anime and manga, we are shown time and time again of how much Deanne loves Meliodas. Way before she ever finds out how she truly feels about King and confesses her love to him. But even before she had true feelings for King, they were together. In episode 19 of the first season, we are shown the backstory of Deanne and King and how they came to know each other. Not to mention, we are shown how King comes to fall in love with Deanne. The first encounter King and Deanne had was when King was unconscious and flowing in a river. Deanne found him, and for a short while, they lived together. They eventually stayed where they were, living under a very big tree. According to a human that they encountered, they lived there for over three generations of humans, which is a much smaller time span when it comes to fairies or giants. So one day, King and Deanne were playing, and King told Deanne that if she caught him, he would grant her one wish. So now Deanne, having gotten all excited, started chasing King as fast as she can. Since this is younger Deanne, much younger than the one we know, she had her hair straight down. So while chasing King, her hair got in her face and her clothing got caught on a tree. Not noticing, Deanne kept running and eventually ripped the entire outfit off. This would mark the first time King saw Deanne fully naked. It isn't the time when they saw each other in episode 1 of the new season. So anyway, King being embarrassed and all, he let his guard down and Deanne caught him with ease. Deanne was very happy that she would be granted a wish, while King was more concerned with getting Deanne dressed again. So eventually, he made Deanne a new outfit, which would be the outfit we see Deanne with in season 1 of 7 Deadly Sins, except smaller. He also told her to put her hair up in pigtails so that it wouldn't get in the way of her eyes again, which she also wears throughout the Seven Deadly Sins story. So after making her clothes and then relaxing, Deanne asks King if he loves her. And as he begins to start blushing and shaking, he tells her yes. After hearing that, she asks about her wish. And to that, he says, yes, I will grant you any wish that you want. So then Deanne gets all happy and Deanne's wish is that King will always love her. And this is the beginning of King's long story of loving Deanne. That night, as King was sleeping, he started to remember everything that happened. See, when King was found in the river by Deanne, he had lost his memories. He didn't remember that he was the King of Fairies or about anything else on the matter. All he knew was he was a fairy and his name was Harlequin. After remembering, King and Deanne noticed a fire had started somewhere. Deanne immediately wanted to go help, but King insisted that he go by himself. Before leaving, King was about to say something, but before he could, Deanne asked, after you're done, will you go find your friend and go back to where your friends are? King replied that he would come back to Deanne, and he promised her that. So King starts to leave as Deanne starts to cry. I won't go too much into what happened with the fire because that is another story for another time. But long story short, the friend King had lost was Helbrum. And Helbrum was also the one who started the fire as he was murdering humans. After battling, King eventually kills Helbrum. In doing this, King realized what he has done wrong. King could no longer keep his promise to Deanne to come back to her. King had to atone for the sin of leaving his friend to suffer for an excruciating long time and not even knowing of his suffering. So to settle it, King comes and sees Deanne one last time. 
She doesn't see King since he puts her to sleep, but he leaves her a flower and never comes back. So fast forward to where we are now. You also see throughout the story how King and Deanne are drawn to each other as well. And even though the backstory has a lot to do with it, that isn't the only reason. Let's look at another pair of fairy giant partners, Gloxinia and Droll. Gloxinia and Droll are also drawn to each other. Now, if you don't know who Gloxinia and Droll are, Gloxinia is the first fairy king, and Droll is the founder of the giant clan. They too are drawn to each other as we see them together every time they are shown in the manga or the anime. Now, it isn't just a coincidence that this pair of fairy and giant are always together, as it is the same case with King and Deanne. King has an ability called Disaster. The ability Disaster is an innate ability granted to the fairy with the official title of Fairy King. This ability gives them authority over the Fairy King's forest, not to mention you also get complete control over life and death by altering and controlling matter at a molecular level. For example, he can turn a shallow scratch into a fatal wound, a minor poison into a lethal toxin, and a small benign growth into a cancerous tumor that can devour a body whole, as seen when King is fighting Meliodas. It also gives him complete control over nature, allowing him to manipulate various flora, letting it flourish or perish in moments. Looking at Deanne, she has an ability called Creation that can only be used by the giant clan who have deep connections with nature, enabling her to manipulate the earth. So after giving all this information, is it still a mystery as to why King and Deanne are drawn to each other, just like Gluxinia and Droll are? The earth is drawing them to each other no matter what happens. This is the same reason that Gloxinia and Droll are always together, and it's the exact reason that King and Deanne have always been together, and if they were ever separated, they eventually come back to each other in the end. No matter what trials and tribulations came their way, King and Deanne always came back. Now, I know I say this in every video, but if you know me, you know King is my favorite character, and Deanne is also one of my favorites. So it was really cool that I got to cover a kind of story like this to break down King and Deanne's relationship, since those are some of my favorite characters in the show. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys have any other ideas for videos, be sure to let me know. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.